This review looks at Virgin Atlantic's premium economy service from London Heathrow to Las Vegas. Virgin flights depart from Heathrow Terminal 3, where there are dedicated check-in desks for premium economy passengers. Then it's up the escalators to security and through duty-free to the departure lounge. From the main terminal area, it was around a seven minute walk to gate 27. Priority boarding was offered, but even still there was a bit of a queue to board. Premium Economy was in the second cabin of the aircraft in a 232 configuration. The seat had a width of 21 inches and a recline of up to 8 inches. The pitch between rows was 38 inches. Before departure, Prosecco was offered. As this was a bulkhead, the monitor was stowed beside the seat and folded up, ready to watch the safety video. If oxygen masks drop, keep your seatbelt on. The aircraft pushed back on time to taxi across the airfield to take off from runway 27 right. The flight time to Vegas was scheduled at 10 hours 45 minutes. After takeoff, drinks were offered. The tray table folded out from beside the seat although it wasn't as stable as it could have been. For the meal service, there was a fixed starter and dessert and a choice of three main courses. The starter was quinoa and feta cheese salad. The wine came in a can for main course, the choices included shepherd's pie or a chicken casserole. The dessert was a chocolate and caramel crunch. 
Overall, the meal was underwhelming for a premium cabin. There were two bathrooms for premium economy, both at the front of the cabin. They were pretty small but included a fold-down baby changing mat. Back in the cabin, the biopic Elvis helped get in the mood for Vegas. Also at the front of the cabin was a galley, where you could pick up soft drinks and snacks. Partway through the flight, fruit lollies were offered. And later a cheese and onion toasty, which was very tasty. Ninety minutes out from landing, high tea was served. This consisted of a couple of small sandwiches and some cakes. Thirty minutes ahead of schedule, the plane came in to land on runway 25 left and taxied to the E-Gates at Terminal 3. It was a functional flight with good service from the crew, however the food offering wasn't as good as previous Virgin experiences. Let me know what you think of the review. Like, share and comment below. And subscribe now for future videos.